Littleton, Colorado, home of the 2023 Audi Denver Littleton Twilight Criterium. Last year, rainy conditions greeted a legion sweep of both the women's and men's races, but this year, the American Criterium Cup leaders will give them some challenge in their red leaders' jerseys as Danny Summerhill and Paula Munoz look to defend their overall leads in the American Criterium Cup. It's the 2023 Audi Denver Littleton Twilight Criterium. Riders starting to take some risks here. Here comes Kirk White to the inside corner. Kirk into the front early. Let me see there's a, a really big reshuffle there yeah. going into corner two with how narrow it was in a, in a swarm that happened. Butcher Box also in the mix here with I think Jillian Bennett. The third wheel. Kendall and Powell really fighting uh, for that fourth fourth wheel going into these last two corners. See that heavy dip into turn five. It'll take him down to turn six, last corner. Here comes Kendall Ryan. She's going early. Ryan going to try and jump him into the last corner. She takes on Scandalara. She will lead out of turn six. A quiet giant tonight in Littleton. Kendall Ryan stays quiet the entire night and then dominates the last lap. Legion does it again. A repeat win for Kendall Ryan here in Littleton. Perfect ride for her tonight. What more can you say? Valentina Scandalara held on for second for the Denver Disruptors team. The Knights will get in there with Pablo Munoz for third. And then Mariana Valdez taking fourth place on the day for L.A. Sweat. Caitlin Agnew, the butcher box rider, got up there. Great result for them. Top five ride here in Littleton. Very good ride. Your season has been going on since essentially March and possibly even earlier. What does it mean to take the win after all you've been through already this year with the trials and tribulations of the American circuit? Yeah, uh, this race is super fun. My first time was uh, last year in the rain, so that was uh, that was crazy. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy to uh, defend the win again um, and win this year. This year has been super hard. Everyone's racing so strong. The level's just going up and up. So it's really exciting to have our racing so animated. Well, Cowan right back where he wants to be. Thank you, Robin Carpenter. Now Gomez and Summerhill making contact. A couple of teammates. Gomez is done. Summerhill taking one with him from the ACG team. Yeah, know Danny's got a teammate coming up right behind him to try to pop around to get him, you know, through the backside of this course. And now Disruptor is going to try and control this one. They have to. As it looks like Jans van Rensburg going to be the last guy. I do see Noah Granigan tucked in there about 10 wheels back, maybe a little too far back. Yeah, but Danny's got, you know, a couple guys in between him and Rodriguez is what he needs because Rodriguez is spending a lot of energy just to fight for his wheel. So Danny's teammate has done a really good job to place himself between him and, and Rodriguez, which is exactly what he needs. This is falling into Summerhill's hands, but Dusan's coming up the inside. Summerhill into third position. They're going to rail it into these last few corners. Sheehan trying to lead it out. Oh, what a ride from Riley. Ben Ritzberg just sits up. Sheehan going to have a little gap oh, into the final corner. He may Para. spoil the day for the sprinters. Dusan. But Jordan Para is oh. there as well for ACG. Sheehan is done. ACG is going to get there. An American cycling group will win in Littleton. What a mix-up. What a wild last lap. So much changed corner by corner. Guys losing their losing their trains. And Jordan Para can't believe it. Rodriguez is going to end up fourth on the day. Summerhill will take six for the American Cycling Group. So Rodriguez is going to add a few more points to his total in pursuit of Danny Summerhill's red jersey. Clever Martinez ends up in second. And Dusan Kalab, a great ride for third. This guy is knocking on the door of a win. It's coming. Mark my words for the butcher box rider. Alfredo Rodriguez ends up fourth. Brenton Fury in the Stars and Stripes going to take fifth place. And then Andrew Jeanette, nice result for seventh, the butcher box squad. Sam Morris aggressive today for Project Echelon. And then local hero Luke Elfingstone for Primal Audi Denver also getting up there into a top 10 ride. Ninth place for him. And Riley Sheehan settling for 10th place. Got to be happy with it. I mean, that guy put on a show.